Tiny Volkswagen guests like Babe, Simon, host guests like Khalifa. Today we're going to do a little something different. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about battery safety lately, and uh, especially with devices like this little guy popping up and seeing the odd person uh, having issues with something like that. So today I'm going to show you guys how to rewrap a battery. Got some wraps. Got a trusty old EFS battery. Don't even fucking get me started on EFS batteries. Um, you believe what you want to believe. Those of us that know will believe what we want to believe. Um, so we're just gonna fucking get started. We're gonna go down up and closey like uh, Grim says. So we'll be right back. All right, folks. So a little change of plans here. I had rewrapped this guy. Uh, that was the E-Fest. Here's a Samsung. I want to show you guys the difference between wrapping the two of them. So I'm just going to cut open the E-Fest. So all these battery wraps come off real, real easy. There we go. There's an unwrapped E-Fest. Now the nice thing about E-Fests is that the insulator stays stuck on there. They've got them glued on or whatever. So they always stick on. That's nice. Now Samsung. This does have a wrapper on it. It's just got a clear wrapper. Just so you know. I'll cut this one off. Now you see with the Samsung, the insulator falls off. So there you have it. Insulator on, insulator off. So this right here is your positive, obviously. This is your negative. That insulator protects it from your device touching both leads. Like if you look inside of uh, an RX200, that is huge. That could easily touch the positive and the negative. That's why you always need to keep that insulator in there, folks. If that insulator falls out, you gotta either replace the battery or find a new insulator, make your own something, but it needs that insulator in there. So let's go. I'm gonna rewrap the Samsung in a clear. We'll do the E Fest in the blue. So as you can see, the wrap is about an eighth of an inch longer on both ends. That's kind of what you want. If you've ever used heat shrink on like a, a wire or something, this is exactly the same idea. Slide that on there, get that battery nice and centered inside the wrap. And now I'll grab the, the blow dry. This is what I use. Some people say you use a heat gun. I, I would, it's so hard to use a heat gun because it gets so hot. It's really hard to hold the battery. I use this little guy. It's a little fold-up jobby that I got at London Drugs for like 20 bucks. Um, I recommend buying one that has one of these little attachments. I've used ones that don't have that attachment and it's a little harder. Uh, this is nice because it uh, aims the heat right where you want it to go. So I'm going to move that battery and that insulator out of the way. Move the garbage out of the way. So this is going to get a little loud. I'll probably play some music in the background instead. So what I normally do is I'll do the positive end first. Flip it around, do the negative end, and then do the middles. So let's go. You'll see how super simple this is.
there you go. That's simple. Uh, that was real time, so it's super fast. I didn't speed it up or anything. And there you go. You have a 100% perfectly safe rewrap battery ready to use in whatever device you want to use it in. Now we'll go with the Samsung. So it's a little, little harder just because you got to hold that insulator in there. And if you want, it's nice with these clear wrappers. I print out little designs and stuff. You go in here, you cut these out. Obviously, you kind of roll them up so they're in the shape of a battery. Uh, you slide them inside the sleeve before you wrap it. That's how I did it, folks, for those who are wondering how. So I get that clear wrap centered in there. Drop the insulator in there. And now I just hold it with my finger. This gets pretty hot. This hair dryer heats up real well. So I just hold my finger in there. And there we go. So that insulator is caught in there nicely. So we'll just finish this up. freshly wrapped batteries both with insulators in there that's it folks we'll uh, go back up top say our goodbyes for the night all right folks so there you have it two freshly wrapped batteries insulators intact always folks always always I've seen a lot of batteries coming in lately to the shop that they've removed the insulator for some reason or it's fallen out or something please 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 rewrap your batteries folks or go to any shop in town um, I can't speak for every shop across Canada I'm gonna assume that most of them will rewrap batteries for you if you are unsure how to do it yourself uh, obviously come into River City and we'll hook you up um, if you don't have wraps you can you can get them at most shops I would think uh, we have a ton of, of different color selections right now uh, and they always change if not you can get them from fast tech I don't know how much they are they're pennies pennies each folks uh, cost very very little to uh, protect yourself and your batteries alright folks we'll talk to you later thanks for watching bye